All right, everybody, welcome back to Bourbon Banter Evans. Uh, Justin, looks like we have a little bit of Elijah Craig on the table. What are we doing today? We're doing the Elijah Craig flight difference of the official bourbons for the Ryder Cup and the PGA versus, wait a minute, scratch that. It's literally just partnerships, right? Right. So this says toasted for the Ryder Cup. This says small batch, but it was just done with the PGA. This looks like a standard small batch, and that yep. looks like the standard toasted. So we got to be up to something. I say we do the two toasteds versus the two small batches. I, I think that's a great idea. Yeah. So it is Elijah Craig flight, but slightly different. And what we are here to tell you is that they're actually different. Each one of these bourbons on the table is four different bourbons. So this is done with a different toast than they use for the regular toasted. Yep. And this small batch, come to find out, is actually using the PGA method, which is you know Professional Golf Association. But the blend comes from Rickhouse's P. Rickhouse's G and Rickhouse A with certain percentages. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. It's very cool. And a lot of people, that are, at least in our market, which is what we're referring to in yep. Evans, obviously, I'm going around the market and then asking questions and everybody says, well, that's just standard. No. Standard small batch with a blue little blue official bourbon thing on there for the PGA. They didn't, they didn't read the nice little hanging tag. Yeah, so it's literally 25% P, 61% G, and 14% A. A. For... P, G, and A. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. That so is cool. the other cool thing is we're about to fresh crack every single one of these. Every single one of them has the tops on. So bear with us. We'll be yep. right back in a moment. We're going to go ahead and get this done. Try not to mess it up a little this bit. This is like unwrapping a Christmas present. Yeah, it is. That one's But cool. better. Yeah. This comes with a fancier box, but I wonder why the PGA ones didn't and they had a lower price point. Oh, and guess what? Justin... Are you wearing your socks today? You know what? I am wearing my socks. And in light of what we're doing, can you verify that I'm wearing some EC, yes. my original ever pair of socks? Yes, indeed. So I do have my bourbon socks on. And in lieu of the commercial, not commercial. <laughs> uncut, unfiltered. Uncut, unfiltered, yeah. In lieu of the bourbons, I'm using Elijah Craig to match. Yes. If all this right. was a race as to who was gonna open them first, I lost. That's all right, it's not a race. But fresh crags yeah. are completed. Yes, they are. There we go. So I've been actually looking forward to trying the specific toasted one and didn't think much of this one. Well, I didn't. And when you were talking about this one, that's funny. But then, you know, we actually read the tag. Now I'm very curious about this Extremely one. Extremely curious yes. because is it going to be noticeable or not noticeable? Did the professionals doing the actual blends for the batch come up with something that that specific three rickhouses at those specific percentages created the better yeah created the same or is this just a, a ploy to fool all of us but they didn't tell us that so literally the entire area thought that this was just a you know advertising for the partnership of golf right but so, yeah that it is but it, there's specific reason for it super cool yeah and then i'm looking at the looking at the tops yeah the, you know that's gotta be gotta be the blue for yeah. the golf of some yep. sort well, I'm going to go ahead and pour these two into this side over here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start over here on this. And so not only are these fresh cracks, it's going to be first time trying fresh pours, with the exception of regular Elijah Craig. I've tried Elijah Craig, and oh, you yeah. have tried Elijah Craig yep. before. Now, what we've on honestly, guys, another thing we need to get from you all, hit like and subscribe. Helps us out, gets, gets us to our numbers, and... Let us know if you like the videos or not. Yeah, the feedback is what we really like. We've actually been getting some or questions and we've been answering yep. some of the comments, mm -hmm. which makes it more exciting as well. It does. And especially when we're trying to get out the nerdy information and not just be entertaining. It's more along the lines of, did you learn something? Yeah. And if then, you didn't learn something, was it entertaining what you didn't learn? Right. Are, are we wrong? You know? Yeah. Call us out. Yep. Put that one back over here. I've been pouring in Glen Cairns for a long time. Yeah, you're, you're pretty, you're a lot faster and better. At it than I am. No, not that, but look how <laughs> even they are. Yeah. Mine aren't bad. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I can officially say that we have been pouring in Glen no, I'm just messing with you. All right. All right, so this is going to make it curious. We do have a little bit of a, a little small note area since we are doing a side by side, which is similar to doing a barrel pick. Yep, and honestly, that you'll kind of see, well, you'll see us in the background doing that. Go watch the video about uh, us talking about how to do barrel picks. And you'll kind of see what we're doing. Yeah, but not necessarily going to break this down in a barrel right. pick. This is literally just trying the toasted versus yep. the toasted and the small batch versus the small batch. Yeah. And so we're going to see if we can tell a difference, what we think, if you can, 
and we're gonna let you guys know. And then the main thing was if you didn't know that you had a different specific batch of small batch Elijah, right. now you do know. Yeah, honestly, if it's sitting on your shelf, go actually look at the tag and you'll see exactly what we just said. And that, it just kind of blew my mind. I was like, holy yeah. cow. And I thought it was just PGA, but if it, it is. If it was in your market and you happen to not be in the Evans market or you know Augusta, if you want to call it that, if you had the stores that received it, most of them all were told that it was a standard release with just blue labeling on it. Right. So I think I'm gonna try the small batches first. Yep, I, I agree with you on that. And then I'm gonna go toasted next yep. because the toasted profile is completely different and I wanna go into natural neutral tasting standard yep. mash that Heaven Hill produces called Elijah Craig. And then we might even, we know we have to have the, we have to have the control right here in the middle. Yes, and thank you for mentioning that. Again, thank you for liking, subscribing, following, and cheers. Yep. What is in your glass? Cheers. All right. The first nose I get automatically is the cleaner I used on this <laughs> glass, which I'm very thankful for having Glen Cairns, and yeah. I have started cheating the method to clean them, but then I always get that cleaner first. Yeah, but I get a little... It goes bit away after it a does. while. Yeah. yeah. And so, unlike uh, a barrel pick, I'm not going to go one, one, one. I'm literally going to try it and then yeah. try that, because I'm literally trying to find out if it's different. I'm not trying to figure out which one I like better. I'm trying Elijah, to figure out if it's different. It's Elijah Craig. Does it taste like Elijah Craig? Yeah, it tastes, it tastes like that. Now. And a little bit of side note on Elijah Craig. When they switched over to the new bottle, which was the new batch and all that fun stuff they put out there, then when they took away the age statement. So obviously it was a 12-year age statement on the front. Then it went 12-year written on the back. Right. And then when they went to the, the new small batch format, which the, the glass had changed already prior to that, the new batch had come out and they dropped all of that. And it was between an eight and 12 year, which answers to why a lot of the barrel programs in the Elijah Craig world are anywhere between eight and 11 years. You don't yeah. see too many 12 ones, they do exist. Right. But most of them are between an eight and 11 mark. The 10 seems to be kind of popular. Yeah. Some nines, but I see a lot of the eights. So that's why, because that batch of them are coming out as between eight and 11, eh, eight to 12 years old, but that's what the batch is. And then again, for the barrel picks that had tendency to be in the eight to 11s really. Yeah, I'm really curious about the rick houses on this one too. Yeah, I, that's I, what I want to know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm curious to see, okay, can we tell a difference? Yeah, specific Look, rick houses called out with percentages yes. means that that had a definite mind said marketing. Yep. Let's market this for a specific batch to do this. Indeed. Whereas standard production for small batches have a preset amount of where their warehouses are right. or rick houses aging their bourbon yep. and they pull from those and there is no well let's get 50 percent from this no. one every single time no they just know they, the pull. they keep up with to keep up with the demand yeah. it, it used to be a long time ago yeah this is where our small batch stuff comes from but not with the way the demand is now just looking at it if you were to look at the bo bottles as far as the color they look exactly the same all the color same thing over here yeah well which is cool 94 proof yeah yeah, I mean, we're doing these two spot yeah. on 94 proof, and if I remember correctly, so are the toasted. And just to test my memory, 94 proof. So this is a straight 94 proof tasting across the, the, the board. It's just, you know, small batches. And yeah. technically small toasted. batches, just toasted small batches. Yeah. And then also, I'm curious, because it's been a while since I've had toasted. Last, last time I had toasted was honestly, well, on the uh, video we did on the toasteds. Oh, yeah, it has been a while. Yeah. Well... Recently, my toasted has disappeared. So I had one and I lost it. And thank you yes. to a, uh, a friend and a fan, if you want to call it that. He might not be a fan, but he's definitely a friend. Great for fun. the last minute save yeah. for getting us this bottle since mine had disappeared and I had not known that. So we were already here set up and realized that I was in a pinch and didn't have one when I had the other bottles ready to go. Yeah. And they, were, they saved the day. Big shout out. Yeah, big shout out. Yeah. And uh, rolled down the street in the golf cart and everything. We yeah. called several people and he saved the day and was able to come through with this one so we could have it. And it happened to be a fresh crack and it matched up perfect. So this matched was up you know, everything. You know, shout out and thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Again, cheers. What's in you guys' glass and big time cheers to, yep. we'll just call him Alex. Yep. Hit that like and subscribe. Wow, I think it does have a little bit of a, it does have a little different nose. It does. So, Alan, in the background, we are doing the small batches. You can join in if you'd like. It does have a little different nose. It's, it's it is slight. a different nose. It's, it's slight, slight, but it is different. Yeah. Believe it or not, it's more mellow. I get more ethanol mm -hmm. coming off of the regular one. I agree. Ooh. I don't even have to do a second no. sip to tell that's different. No, that's different. So, all the people, that if is, you were thinking that yeah. it was the same or not noticeable... 
it is 100% different, right off the rip different. You know how you're talking about mellow? How the, the nose yeah, and everything, it, it, it goes right into the, goes right into the uh, bourbon itself. It is easy, okay. easy, yep. easy. There you go. Oh man, that's, that's good. I like that. And it's almost got like a cooling effect mm -hmm. too. I really enjoy that. And then at the very last moment, you get this like extra pop of oak from this specific batch, which I wonder if that's that heavier percent of Rickhouse G. Could be. I don't know. I'm honestly not too familiar with their Rickhouses and what they put out. I'm sure some of the huge Elijah Craig barrel proof fans might chase down and follow specific ones that might have that batch on there. Or could it be the lower percentage? And of... it could be a different age. It, yeah. 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 That's kind of what I'm wondering. They did. Are they putting the higher age in there? Wow. That's lower. But I can tell you this right now, based off of what I just tried on those two sips, and I can't wait to go back to the third one now for it being the small batch. If you have this available, yeah, and you haven't gotten it, go get it. Or honestly, if you have this and you don't have the regular, go get it, and you'll under you'll see exactly what we're talking about. Well, it, the, the main reason I'm gonna say go get this one. Well, yeah, because it's gonna eventually probably, it's gonna go. Yeah, we gonna know this up. one's gonna come around. Yeah. So go to, go ahead and pick that up, and you'll see the difference. Especially if you're a big Elijah Craig drinker. Yeah, it's it's night immediately different. Yeah, it's night and day. Yeah, that's crazy. I kind of want to do a third one of it. You know, I was doing two and two. I know that's crazy. Not that there's not more on the table to pour. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, it's got now, such a different nose, and now, then, it, then it matches after yeah. the second. Now I'm curious. Oh yeah, I'm this is, really curious. This about is this. standard toasted. We're getting that in a second. Okay, yeah. now I'm getting ahead. We're not, now we're getting excited because it was that different. Well, it is, and you know, after hearing what you were talking about, everybody saying, "Oh, it's just regular. It's just regular." I was convinced it was regular. Yeah. No, it's not. Clearly and not. I was filled in. I was given that information. I had only seen it a couple times, and was like, "Oh, what's that?" And, you know, thought it was in the wrong spot. Like, "Oh, that's just the blue label on there for the you know golf." It's like, "Okay, no big deal." So. I was educated on that. Yep. Then I read the tag and realized that, wow, this is different. Well, one of the reasons why we like doing these videos is because guess what? We want to put good information out there that is correct information, and that's what we're trying to do here. Yeah, you know what I would do now, knowing how the PGA is different in batch? I would now take this to several different blinds Ooh. if I was doing a side-by-side -side blind of small batches or other things and yeah. just submit that in there to really mess yeah. the flow or completely confuse people because it is different. Yeah. And so can I, you know, in the past we've talked about laser codes from Sazerac products. We did, you know, laser codes with Taylor small batches. We'll just keep it down that one right now and how each oh, one man. is different. That'd be like a whole different submit, like submitting a new small batch yeah. for this one. I don't know. I mean, and if they couldn't see the bottle or anything else, I don't know if they would even say is Elijah Craig. And, you know, it, it almost batch. has kind of a, like what they submit under Heaven Hill stuff. Yeah. That's and good. that little pop at the end, Yeah, that's more of a Heaven Hill it is. note. It is. And what they put under Heaven Hill brand instead of Elijah Craig, though Heaven Hill produces both and it's the right. same match. Right. All right. That's good. I'm about to clean my palate. All right. And I believe it's time to do some toasted. All right. So just so you can see the toasted I poured right there, the color on camera, as you guys see them right there. And so now we have standard toasted on our left, the Ryder Cup 2023 toasted on the right. Yep. So the regular toasted everybody knows about, not that you guys haven't seen the Ryder Cup, we know that the price, different, well, the price difference was higher and, and this one is a specific European toast like the uh, from Lazio, the wine company, okay. that's okay. Italian. And so specifically toasted like they would do their wines and so this was a, a marriage with uh, America meets I guess Italy, but it would be Europe. Yeah. And then for the Ryder Cup that they did this. So according to this and them stating that, this is a different toast than what the regular one is. So we're about to find out right if, here, Fresh if, Cracks. If it makes a difference. If too. it is different. Yeah. So we're about to find out. So cheers again. Yep. Hit and that like and subscribe button. All right. Got to nose it first. And it's got that standard, yeah. standard yep. nose for the regular. Yes, indeed. It's, this it's, reminds me of toasted. It does. It rem it's amazing what the toasted nose is. You yeah. can definitely tell a toasted nose. Almost. You know, I, I heard one person describe this one time, and I can't ever remove this adjective <laughs> from my head. And not the one that everybody gives me a hard time about that I don't say, but they constantly say. But some reason they said marshmallow. That's not what I get. No, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. Not but I can't remove it from right. whenever I nose. I'm like... I, I don't get marshmallow. Get some <laughs> like, cinnamon toast crunch. That's like I get it. People put marshmallows and they toast them right. on graham crackers, but I don't get that on this. Not to say that you don't. You might. I no, just, it's good no, for you if no. you do. Yeah. 
I don't think I've ever gotten marshmallow on any nose on any bourbon, to be honest with you. So, well, I'll just throw that out there. You know, my new goal in life for bourbon banter <laughs> ovens is to find a marshmallow. Everybody, you note know, for Charles to try and for me to be like, that's just what marshmallow is. It's probably going to be like, uh, you know, screwball or something like that. You know, that's not bourbon. I know. <laughs> But it's here's the uncut, unfiltered, behind the scenes yes, talk in front of the camera. Yeah, I'm, this happens all the time. Actually, it it's does. just not normally on video. Yeah, it's fun to have it on video sometimes. All right, we're going in for the first sip. Now that has that cooling effect that I'm used to. Oh god! And it's weird that I say the cooling effect. Let me re let me rephrase it's, that. It doesn't have a spicy burn. No. Or doesn't have a heat to it. No. So I say cooling effect, meaning it's like kind of like, oh. It's not lighting up your tongue at all or no. anything else like that. It's just very smooth. It's yeah. very smooth and I think this it's is good. I think the toasted Elijah Craig has figured out a way to completely yes. smooth out any of that mash that they use, which yeah. is standard mash, which is already decent because I love it a lot. But it makes it completely different <laughs> than all the other stuff. But you still get the hint of Heaven Hill in there. It, it does. Yeah. It yeah. gives me that, but yeah. it's just it's so different, it makes me wonder. Why did they put Elijah Craig toasted? Why did they not go Heaven Hill toasted? Mm -hmm. You know, why why did they specifically pick this line? But that's there's Maybe. your marketing geniuses out there that did that. Right. Same thing that Benchmark did their five line expression release of yeah. Benchmark. Yep. Instead of why not five expression releases of Buffalo Trace? Yeah. It might be because of the age too. You never know. Yeah, um, I mean that definitely makes yeah. a big difference. Yeah. yeah. All right. Wow. One more on this one for me. I'll tell you what. It's been a while since I've had the Elijah Craig toasted. It's good. You know, I get caramel, but I'm not getting marshmallow. No. Oh, I get I get sweet notes on yeah, that. I haven't got to that one yet. I haven't. No, I haven't sipped it. I'm just call it on the nose. Oh, you're still on the. I'm I sorry. Know. You're <laughs> just, on the regular. My bad. Just kidding. But yeah, yeah. He's trying to. He's trying to persuade me. I, I know it. Holy cow! I can already tell him that. Just like you were talking about on the uh, on the small batch, the nose is completely different. There's that cleaner again. <laughs> it is completely different. I mean, you can really take your nose deep yes. into this Glen Karen yeah. with this stuff. Compare, I mean, and that's it's almost like a more refined it is. nose. Just because it's got the Oh yeah, this has got the that yep. whatever marshmallow is. And yep. ethanol. This has the nose of just to liquid. Me, yeah, it's it, like it's there's liquid in there, but, but it's 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 sweet. It's got that sweet smell to it. Not a marshmallow smell. I don't get a marshmallow smell, but I definitely get a sweet smell. I just want to know what a marshmallow I, smell is. It's a car. It, to me, this is a, a first caramel. one's caramel. Yeah, yeah. it's got a caramel note yes. to it. But yeah. all right, all right, you guys need to nose this, try this, and yeah. let us know what you think on this one specifically. This has got a completely different nose than all of them on the table. Yeah, I, what, even concluding our yes, which. Doesn't have anything to do with this, but I just I just know the nose doesn't smell like that. What we really want on this video, want a lot of comments. Honestly, if you've had this, what you think of any of them? I and if you've had this, what are your comments? What do you think of it? What are it, it, it compared to this one? I'm really curious what everybody has. Do to say. you like Elijah? Do you not like Elijah? Right. Do you like the toasted Elijah, but don't like the regular? Yep. Vice versa. Yep. And you don't have to do it like we're doing it. Just give us just give us some comments because we just wanted to do it like this to see if it truly was different. And guess what? We know here, and I can already tell you here. We'll see what you think. Oh, that's definitely different. Mm-hmm. That's got a. It's got a little bit of a. It's got a twinge yes, that just stays little, on the tongue, yep. just like, like it kind of like crackles. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little twang. It's got a twinge and twang, yep. like yep. nobody's business. Yep, that is a completely different toast. That seems more like a small batch. Yes, that seems like a this really is, toasted to make a difference. This one, so smooth, like you said, that cooling effect. What what it is is you're not lighting up your tongue a yeah. little bit. This one lights up your tongue a little bit. It does. I don't get the. I don't get as Which much. It's crazy. It's got no ethanol on the nose, no. but it lets you know that it's ninety four proof it's, on the tongue. But what's funny is that doesn't taste. You're exactly right. I don't think that tastes like a toasted. It doesn't. It doesn't no. really seem like a toasted. No, not at all. It's it's cool how they've decided to do this. I'm I'm very impressed by this line. Very impressed by this PGA line. It's different. I would after the two. That's so, that is. It's wild. After the two, to be honest with you, and I'm just putting this out there for me, I would much rather go with this one. Oh, I'm all in on the yep. small batch. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I, I don't dislike the Ryder Cup, no. but PGA batch, yes. small batch for the W. 100%. If I was to do a side-by-side -side yeah. picking here, 
Now, if I was going to do a barrel pick of this, I mean, yeah. That's the one I would want to do. Yeah. Too. But if there is news and if there is a possibility of there being a new Elijah Craig program, I've heard that the news could be a toasted really? program and that that program could be barrel proof. That would be interesting. That is how you kickstart and continue on moving a brand forward and continuing people going after and seeking them. Whereas now Elijah Craig small batch has been around long enough. Essentially that's going after the crowd that is just looking to enjoy and drink yep. and yep. conversate and share bourbon. Whereas they put out production like releases that are limited and people go after those, but they kind of fall off the map as far as like, now we got more of the barrel proof sitting on the shelf. Right. How do we do that? Now we're going to do a barrel proof 13 year, seven month, you know, C923 and then, make it 133 proof and then pow, people are back at it after they kind of just kind of gotten this lull of, you know, not as popular. And then so and then you're putting out a lot of barrel picks of Elijah Craig that were barrel proof. Well, people are like, how much barrel proof can I drink yep. all the time? Yep. Yeah. So let's start rolling out some more 94s and then you get that drinkability coming back yes. here, you know, Elijah Craig fans. So if they were to do that, if that rumor is true, and if any of that is actually in the books as far as a thing, comment. Yeah. Let us know. Because we've heard it, it doesn't mean it's, we don't know. We, we haven't confirmed we, we it. We haven't so. seen. We haven't seen it at all. Yeah. yeah, heard it, never seen it, yeah. never confirmed it, and maybe that's a rumor. That'd be a heck of a cool rumor. It would be a cool rumor. Yeah, so I'd be in. I'd be in. If there was a toasted barrel pick program, that'd be cool in itself. But if it was a toasted barrel pick program that was barrel proof, yeah, that'd be even cooler in itself. Yeah. So if you've heard anything, put it in the comments. Hit that like and subscribe button. Yeah, and uh, that, that's it for this one. This is a pretty short video. This is just getting the Elijah Craig's out there. And letting you guys know the big difference was is they are different. They are. And don't sleep on this one. Go find this PGA bottle from 2024's release. It's good. It's phenomenal. Yeah. And that's, I'm, I'm, and In the Elijah Craig lineup, that is really good. Yep. And I don't want to. I don't want to put this one down at all. I mean, no, this is also good. good. It's just completely different. Yes. Toasted, though. Yeah. Yeah. I, and this so, is the one. For yeah. Me. So, and I say, Charles, can we do this in a quick recap? Yep. Completely different shot. Yes. Completely different. Still shocked, but would lean on this one. I would. Yeah. That's, I 100% agree. Yeah. And so I, I don't disagree with anything purchased here, though. You can't go wrong with any of them on here, especially this one. But no, yeah. you can't go wrong with any of them on here. But if I had to choose one, this is the one I would go out and buy right now. And by all means, this would be a great comparison to do versus this one if we didn't have four samples to finish and yep. try to make this video a little bit shorter just to let the information out there. Exactly. And let you guys know about it so that we can get it uploaded, let you guys know and then let you guys go try, seek, find, purchase, and then comment and let us know what you guys think about the Elijah Craig line. Last thing did. I'll say is if you're interested in trying it, come on in, put some comments in there. We always want to try it. We'll go on site or whatever else. If you're interested in trying the control against any one of these. Yeah, that's true. And we have traveled in the past to do videos on site. We are still doing that. It just doesn't necessarily always make the, uh, the reels. Exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> we still have some that aren't allowed on video. Yep, there's a few, but hey, Hit that like and subscribe uh, button. Appreciate it, and let us give you let us hear your comments and everything else. Cheers.